Good morning guys, hope all is well and happy lockdown 2.0. So I mentioned I'm going to give a weekly update. So today's update is going to be on putting. So what can you do at home to keep improving your putting? So let's just go over some really key important putting skills that good putters have in their toolbox. So the first one is they have a great ability to read a green. Then they have an ability to aim their putter at their intended aim point or spot. Then they have a great ability to start the ball on that intended aim, which is what we're going to look at today. Then they have an ability to control the ball's speed relative to the green read that they selected. And also they demonstrate good psychology, a good mindset on the putting green. Their ability to hold putts through visualisation and a good mindset approach. So what we're going to look at is line today. So first off, I've got a little test or a little game or a little challenge that you can do. And then I've got a couple of little... Um, teaching aids that maybe you can get or simulate so that you can actually develop these start line traits. So the game itself is going to be a start line gate drill. So you're going to be 20 centimeters away from a gate. The gate I've got here is 60 mil. So you can actually buy these. Okay, so they go in the putting green. But while you're at home, they've got little legs that you can put them in as well. If you can't get hold of some of these, you can just use ball boxes or books. But the first one is 60 mil, so 60 mil apart, 20 centimeters away. Now, as you can see, I've got a little coin here, so it's just in the same place each time. Basically, 10 balls, how many you can get through? So I got six out of 10. So as you can see, the first one hit the left edge, so that's a fail. I have a little bit of an aim right bias when I'm putting, and I've obviously learned to pull it on. Um, so when I do this, it sort of catches me out a little bit, but it's really good to calibrate me, get me better aiming and then a better start line to breed some really good habits from that point of view to sort of stop me from getting too far right and too pulley. So as I say, I got six out of 10. So I'll just whiz you through these. So six out of 10 for me. So if you got to a point where you get 10 out of 10 quite comfortably, you could either move the coin further back. So you go back to maybe 30 centimeters or reduce the gate size. So with these packs you get a 55 and you also get a 50. All right, so you're reducing the size. You have to be even more precise in your start line. So a fantastic little exercise, puts a little bit of pressure on. There's no reason why you can't do that at home. Um, here's a quick view of what it looks like from a picture point of view, 20 centimeters away. So that's a good little challenge. In terms of actually practicing this, um, there's some great teaching aids on the market now that you can actually use. Um, again, I'll, I'll put some forward in some links so you can actually purchase some stuff. So there's some putting arcs that you can buy at home. These are just little mats that you lay down. And um, the company Visio that do these, they actually do some different size arcs. So if you want me to let you recommend which is best for you, then that actually let me know. So they're really good. Um, they're little rolled up bits of basically um, card and they lay flat on a green or they lay flat in your in your lounge or in your bedroom or wherever you can actually use it so a fantastic little um a training aid to help with your aim of your putter and to give you some guidance on the natural arc that happens in putting you can also put the gate on there as well the um another one that's a real favorite of mine um and here's the site by the way so visioputting.com you can buy the the gates here, as I say, you don't need the gates, you can just use ball boxes, they're just quite nice. You can put two tees as well, um, but obviously you can't really do that at home. And if you put them upside down, they can sometimes just get sort of blown over from the ball passing. So a fantastic little investing investment for your putting. And the thing I want to chat about today is what I call the, the T-bar training aid. This is fantastic. You can use it on the putting, you can also use it at home. So let me just find the video for this quickly. Um, uh, two seconds. Um, to do, do a T bar, yeah, this is a, a great training aid. Okay, so it really helps me. As I say, I've got a little bit of an aim right bias, so it helps me line the putter face up to my intended start line, and then it helps me keep the putter face square at impact to keep the ball rolling down this this line here to help me get through the gate. So let me just show you a couple of little videos of this. Okay, and this is one of my favorite teaching aids when it comes to putting. Really helps the improvement of that start line. Well worth getting. As I said, go to visio.com, you can get all this sort of stuff. So enjoy the challenge. 
You've got some good practice aids there that you can develop your putting. And like always, just start to see what you notice. So if you're not being successful in completing that start line, try and explore with why not. What do you then need to do to get the ball starting through that start line game? Keep well, and I'll see you in a week's time. All the best.